Hello, this is a tutorial in the use of the uh, Read and Write Excel plugin for ImageDale Fiji version 1.1. This version is largely similar in core functionality to previous releases, um, except it has had extra features added to it thanks to the work of uh, Brendan Cromhout, who's a GitHub hub repo for this um, project, is uh, will be linked in the file description below. So jumping straight in, um, I can show you that uh, first actually generating results table. So with a simple threshold, analyze particles analysis. Um, we can implement the plugin as in previous releases by simply going to plugin, read and write Excel. Um, there is now a uh, tracking bar, a progress bar showing the export. Um, and on our desktop, a file has been created um, called rename me after writing is done by opening this. We can see the contents of this uh, existing, uh, this open results table in image J has been added to um, an Excel file, an Excel worksheet um, by default tab A. Um, and the data header um, will be the name of the uh, most recent open image by default. So we can just close this now. And I can show you um, some of the uh, extra features now of this version. So um, using regular ma macro language, we can call the plugin by run, read and write Excel, um, and uh, introduce an argument. So here we can have a no count column argument, which will omit the um, counts, a uh, small feature, but could be useful. And if we run this, <clears throat> you can see that the export is tracked with the progress bar. And uh, in that existing file on our desktop, we can see that the contents of this results table has been added adjacent to the previous set, but this time with the counts omitted. Um, so I'll show you the next argument, uh, optional argument feature that's been added by Brendan Cromhout, um, which is a custom file path um, and a file name feature. See how it's implemented here. And by running this, you can see that in this custom location, once the export is done, uh, our file has been created and all data points are present um, in the correctly formatted data type. Another feature of this version of the Read and Write Excel plugin is a custom worksheet naming system. So by calling sheet equals, anything after the equals um, will be our custom sheet. So rather than the, the default A or B or whatever is the most recent uh, worksheet, um, you can implement your own. So here, uh, by using the regular macro language, you can see that uh, you can also uh, add uh, changing variables as you would, for instance, in a loop or whatever else. And if we run this on our desktop, because that's the default location without that parameter changing, um, you can see that now, rather than A, we have our custom sheet tab, D to sheet one. If we close this, I'll show you that uh, if this is then changed, oh, so if it was left the same and you ran it again, um, as you might expect, the data would then be added adjacent to the existing data in that same sheet by changing this variable in the same Excel file or XLSX file. See that now the contents of the results table has been added to a new sheet with the modified parameter adjusting the title name. Um, the next feature is a, a modify, modification of a pre-existing feature which was uh, the ability to add a custom title. So this is the old implementation which will not work in this version which is just your custom title in the second um, parentheses. Instead, 
we adopt the new nomenclature, argument nomenclature, which is data set label equals, and then our custom name. As before, you can run um, macro language uh, variable parameters as well. So if you run this, you can see that in our um, desktop file. Now, instead of the most recent open image being used as the, da the data set label header, we have our custom label, which is in this case is table one. Um, the important thing to note here is with any individual argument of this kind that I've been describing, you should not introduce spaces. So I've been using underscores instead, and you can see why in, in a second. So to show you the next feature. So now, uh, finally, actually, um, how to uh, run multiple arguments. So you can see uh, run, read and write Excel, comma, and then uh, multiple arguments sim are simply implemented by having a space in between. So we, in this new file that will be created, we ha we'll have no column counts. It'll be placed in our um, custom location with a custom file name. Um, it'll have the custom sh uh, worksheet name and because of, of the space here, um, a custom data sheet label. So if we run this, in our custom location, this file has been created uh, with the data sheet one and the table header. Um, so now this will be sufficient just this information for the majority of users. But another feature which has been added by Brennan Cromhout and which is particularly powerful is the ability to handle larger data sets. So this is already quite a long um, results table, hence it taking you know close to a, like two seconds or whatever to export each time. Um, but if it was ran in a loop, for instance, if you're cycling through multiple images with a table size this big, um, I hadn't thoroughly stress tested the previous releases and because of inherent limitations in the Apache Apache POI um, library for handling XLSX files in Java, um, using the default data input streams, um, that would actually uh, that export would actually uh, go up in time, required time um, a lot for large data sets. But by implementing the file mode argument here, in a slightly different implementation, you can see. Um, for, in this example loop, where the data is exported four times, um, it'll be a lot quicker. And you basically uh, first have to call read and open, um, a queue write, and then write and close. And what this does is instead of um, opening and closing the file multiple times as it would in a regular workflow, um, the file will be opened or created once. Um, all data will then be queued and then the, all this data will then be written um, and the file will be closed um, all in, uh, in one instance. So um, if I run this, you'll see what happens. So you can see each um, export happens individually and is tracked by the progress bar. And in our desktop, file oops and the whole process took 16 seconds um that's just the macro i got to output that so that won't be in the the, def the plugin by default and in our desktop file we can see that um all data has been added um in the same file Uh, but like I mentioned before, uh, this regular implementation will be fine, I think, for the majority of users. So um, thank you for listening. The, uh, this was a tutorial and use of the uh, Read and Write Excel plugin version 1.1.